So you click insert. You're going to select the cells that you want to chart. And over here, you can see um, I click insert in the home in the uh, insert ribbon. There's a group for charts. Um, you can quickly select the different types of charts you want, whether you want it to be a, a column or a bar chart, basically. Um, a line chart, pie chart. Here's the bar charts, actually. Different types of charts, and then other charts. And um, you even have the charts dialog box, which just get just um, offers you more options and again this is just an introduction really so anyway let's go ahead and we'll create our first chart so I selected we're gonna chart um, the total for each quarter I selected quarter one through quarter four I'm holding down control and now I'm selecting the totals for each quarter we want a column chart and then I have my different options. I'm going to go ahead and choose this 3D one. And there, you can see that I have my chart. I can resize my chart by basically holding the um, cursor over the bottom corner. And you can see it turns into the double diagonal arrow. I can resize it to make it fit. I can also go up here and change the chart layout. So if I want to add a title, you can see here, all I have to do is click on that title. And I'm pressing backspace and sales report 2000. What I put 12, 13, whatever. All right. And again, I can keep changing it. There's all the different options. It's just really all about preference, whether it's what your boss prefers or what you prefer, if it's personal, if it's work. Um, I, kinda like that one. And again. There's a lot of things you can do. It's all just um, cosmetic with these charts. But again, okay. Um, we can also change the color up here, as you see. can also get into more detail. What I did there was I just double clicked on the chart area right here and it opened up the format chart area. So um, I can select different parts. I can hold control. I'm selecting different parts of the chart and I can just basically like change different you know the appearance I can remove lines it's just something that you have to play with but anyway it's just something that you have to play with yourself and you will learn. Let's undo. I just moved that over. Okay. Um, and then you can organize these any way you want. You know, you see I'm just selecting the chart with my mouse. I'm not selecting these because these can these parts of the charts, the bars and the lines and all these I can also move, but you have to select a blank area of the chart and I can move the chart anywhere that I want. Um, other things that you know I can insert if I wanted to, you know, for some reason insert um you know like word art I don't know why I would but maybe you're creating a something for some kids 
I want to congratulate him. You can add word art, which you can also edit. It's all very simple, as you, as you can see. Um, you can add shapes. You can draw them up here. But you just have to get in the insert. Let's just undo and get rid of this stuff. You just have to play around with the... Um, I'm going to right click this and cut. Right click. My mouse is having problems. There we go. Let me get that out of the way. You just have to get with the um, I'm up here and in insert, and you can you can play with the different things like word art. Um, you know, if you're a professor and you're writing tutorials for equations, you can insert equations in it. And it will, you know, are different symbols for the equations. So that's just an example of different. There's a lot. Of, you have a lot of options to play with. Okay, let's get back to our sales report. Um. <clears throat> Okay, say you wanted to use this as a template. You can also, um, I'm going to mess with our worksheets here. I could, let's name this worksheet a sales report. Okay, now, okay, I, I kind of like it with the, um, with the table, so I'm going to delete all of these rows. So I'm going to select all these rows, which I previously had, and I'm going to right click and press delete. And there I just deleted all of those rows. You can do the same thing for columns just like that. Okay, I'm just trying to make this a little bit neater so we can move forward in this beginner's tutorial. All right, let's say, okay, so I have sales report. The sales report, um, Worksheet. These are worksheets inside the workbook. You can see that I have two more empty worksheets. Now let's go ahead and delete these worksheets because we don't need them. They're blank and we don't need them. So as you can see, I'm selecting the tab, the worksheet tab. I'm right clicking and I have different options for worksheets. I can delete them. Okay, now let's. We could go ahead and copy this worksheet. And what we want to do, let's say we want to create a new worksheet. I could just copy everything that's on here. Copy these cells. Or I could just copy the entire worksheet by pressing this button. I'm pressing Control C. Now I'm selecting a new worksheet. That just created a new worksheet by clicking on that tab. And now I'm going to click the top left corner and press Control V. And now I added the same exact basically we just pasted this worksheet in essence we uh, duplicated it all right the difference is here I'll title this I guess I can click my title sales forecast all right let's merge that home tab merge and center you can just click that and it will merge and center align the text all right so sales forecast let's just say this for the next year now the sales forecast um let's just say that we're going to do this on a percentage increase let's say that we just assume that our sales are going to increase by 15 percent um so we're going to do formulas now i could go in here and i could enter first of all let, let's clear all of this content we're not, let's clear all the content that's not a formula, I should say. All the, all the hard <clears throat> coded content 